and right. action. Right. So Rose, your work is unbelievably colourful and joyful. And I just wonder, when you first think about these paintings, how do you get to the first sort of colours for it? I think there are colours I'm definitely drawn to. Like, I'm very drawn to pink in my work. It's very much just about getting stuff down on the canvas, seeing how colours work against each other. I don't want to have a perfect idea of a work before I start. I still want there to be like spontaneity and I still want room for change. So it doesn't always work and that's really important as well. Um, and I suppose the first thing I really like to think about when considering a flower arrangement is what's going on outside and what colours might be able to influence what I make. And so then, you know, I, I always like to think about a sort of lead flower first. I think about what, what is the starting point, um, and that is based on the seasons. When I was living in Mexico for a while, I suddenly was using a lot of purples. There's this amazing blossom there called jacaranda that's um, in spring is incredible. That colour was everywhere in my work. Did you have a collection of colours in mind, or you sort of pick one colour? I mean, I normally have two colours that I know that I love next to each other. And then I start putting them together and seeing how they work. So what does the black and white do? The inclusion of black and white is really important as a form of balancing out colours in my work, which is something that Matisse does. When you're like taught to be an artist, you're taught about complementary colours and actually mm -hmm. colours that don't necessarily always work together, I think is a really interesting thing. So it's an active decision to use colours that might clash. I don't just like using complementary colours, I actually quite like using clashing colours. It's important in terms of like a movement of a painting as well, like green and pink, green and red. I know those work, but then pink and red, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily put together, but I really, really like how they sit together. Purple and yellow, again, I really love. That's, that's sort of what I've been doing a lot of recently, even though that yellow isn't the right yellow for that purple, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean just because you've mixed two colours, they're going to work. I think the whole thing is that you don't really know how colours react to each other. That's something you learn over time. One thing I really like to do is sort of colour match. So if we take my nice little Balthazar chrysanthemum here, um, which has got a little hint of yellow in it. Mm. This is my lead flower for this arrangement. Bit of yellow, bit of pink. And then what flowers can I find that might reflect uh, those two colours? For me, I want my paintings to like, fundamentally just bring like joy to people. And I think vibrant, bright colours, I think that's sort of what makes that possible. So Rose, thank you so much. That was so inspiring to be talking to you all about colour. And everyone, we're going to be speaking to Rose a little bit more next week about composition. So see you there.